we're going to be drawing this project called an end plate. You can see the drawing setup. Our units of measure are in inches. The units are decimal. Precision is two places to the right of the decimal point. In looking at my object, I can see that my overall height is 4.5 inches and the width is 5.5. That most of my lines are going to fall either horizontal or vertical, which allows me to use ortho and direct distance entry in drawing this object. I have one angle here and I can see that it's 135 degrees on this inside edge. So that means that from zero I would have to subtract 135 from 180 to calculate that this outside angle is 45. So in drawing this object I'm going to be using direct distance entry along with my drawing aids of ortho and polar tracking. I'm going to start a new drawing in AutoCAD and I could use my empty AutoCAD template ACAD.DWT or in this case I'm going to use a template in my AutoCAD drawing folder that's a simple title block template. It contains a title block for setting up for printing after I've finished. You could also download this template. If you look below you'll see a link for it. I'll go to model space to start my drawing, start a line command, and begin drawing down here in the lower left corner. Click once to start the line. Now because these are horizontal and vertical lines mostly, I'll turn ortho on in my drawing aids. And my first line is 2.5, which I'll enter from the keyboard. And then I have a line that goes down at 90 degrees, 0.5, and proceeds to the right, 1. Now I have a line at a 45 degree angle, so I'm going to turn ortho off. And I want to look at my polar tracking. I'll right click on the polar tracking button to check the angle that it's set. And, it's, and I can see that it's set for 45 degrees, which is what I want. So I will turn on my polar tracking and as I move around you'll see that it locks in at 45 degrees. In fact it will lock in at every instance of 45 degrees. So in this case when I see it lock in I can enter from the keyboard its distance. In this case it's 2.83 and I could continue drawing with polar tracking because it will lock in but it's even quicker to turn ortho on because it locks automatically vertical and horizontal. So 0.5, I'm going to go to the left 2, going to go vertical 2, go to the left 2, I go down at 90 degrees 1.5, go to the left 1.5 and it should snap perpendicular to my start point which it does so I'll just click and snap to that end point hit enter to end my line command and I've drawn my object okay if you want to check the accuracy of your drawing we'll go to the utilities and we'll choose measure I'll click on one of the corners. Now I want to make sure that my object snaps are turned on. Down here in the status bar, drawing aids. So I will snap to this corner and snap to the next corner. And I will choose from the flyout menu that I want to find area. So I will continue to snap to the intersections of each of these lines and work my way around. When the whole area is turned green I'll hit enter and you can see that the area is 15.2544.
So you can use this to check the accuracy and see if yours area agrees with mine.